Liu Bei's army defeats Zhang Liang, thereby driving back the Little Turban forces. Thanks to this victory, Liu Bei's name spreads throughout the Imperial forces, and he is hailed as a hero of the people. In response, the Yellow Turban forces take up a defensive position within Zhang Bao's fortress in hopes of repelling any further attacks by the Imperial Army. Meanwhile, the leader of the Yellow Turbans, Zhang Jiao, continues to gather his forces for the final battle, which is the Yellow Turban Rebellion. But in the last part, well in the first part, we took on the Yellow Turban Menace, now we're going to take on the Yellow Turban Fortress. And when it comes to, well, first off, let me go and change my character because for the fact that the Musun mode in Dynasty Warriors 4 is kingdom based, you actually have the option of switching out your character anytime you want. So I won't be playing the entire thing as Guan Yu, obviously, because I'm not doing 39, 40 parts. Well, not 40 parts, 40 Musun modes. So. I'm going to switch it out and I'm going to play as Zhang Fei now. And I'll play as Liu Bei for the Old Term Rebellion. So, with all that said, let's get back to it. Uh, the equipment, the weapon, the default weapon is the Bronze Pike. I'll say it before, I'll say it again. In order to get a better weapon, you actually have to have weapon experience. In order to do that, you have to defeat officers, generals, um, defeat officers or generals in duels, which you actually see later on. I'll explain that when we get there. Um, and do combos on that said officer or general. Even commander. And your level 4 will become that second weapon in Dynasty Warriors 3, which has the maximum of 5 attacks. The third weapon, which has a max of 6 attacks, will be at level 7 through 9. And then you have your fourth and fifth weapons, which are level 10 and level uh, 11 weapons. And uh, I'll be going for all of them. So, yeah. Anyway, the items we have. We only got the wing, well, wing boots. And, uh, uh, I mean, what am I supposed to do right now? So, that's all I'm going to be really using until I get more. Uh, not much to really play with at the moment. But, yeah. Anyway, bodyguards, same thing the objective. We have to defeat Zhang Bao to win. If I die, if the commander Zhu Jun dies, or if we run out of time, which obviously that will never happen unless something funny happens, but I highly doubt it, then we lose. But uh, the only thing I'll be more concerned about is me dying or if Zhu Jun dies. I, I don't think I'll have to worry about Zhu Jun getting killed in any way, shape, or form unless I really fuck up. But anyway, uh, the unit info for the allied forces or the Han forces, pretty much the same thing. The only difference is the commander. Um, mini, I'm gonna say mini, but minor spoiler alert to an extent. Once you complete a Musu mode, for example, you'll see the officers here on the south side, Jaho Du and Jaho Yuan. If I'm not mistaken, once you complete a Musu mode, it doesn't matter which one it is, I believe they change in the Musu mode. Free mode is automatically default, so it's something like Dynasty Warriors 3 to an extent when you complete certain Musa modes like Guan Yu, Zhou Yu, or any of the commanders like, well, rulers like Liu Bei, Cao Cao, Xun Jian, like whatnot. But anyway, uh, Yellow Turban, well, the side, the enemy side, yeah, Zhang Bao, Cheng Yuanji, Zhou Kong, yes, the same Zhou Kong that was part of the Battle of Fang Castle when we had to defeat, uh, did, I, did he show up in Dynasty Warriors 3? Well, in my Let's Perfect anyway. I'm trying to remember if he was there when I played the Battle of Fawn Castle under the Allied Forces, but I hardly remember it. It's been, what, forever? Um, Pei Yuan Xiao, Bo Zhang, and He Yi from the Yellow Turban Menace. So, there we go. Alright, let's do it. Cao will advance from the east, and Sun Jian from the west. The volunteer forces may move as they like. Alright, so we're going to go for He Yi first, but we're going to kill some troops first before that. 
Um, and Guanyu just took out a shit ton of troops right in front of me. Alright, so... I really love Zheng Fei's charge attack right here. Watch this. And you can do it with another charge attack like this. Three, and boom. There you go. They added that here. I don't... No, there wasn't any type of attack like that in Dynasty Warriors 3. If I'm not mistaken. Nope. The only thing I remember was Death Elements. And if I was trying to press the... Well, I was trying to press the right analog stick to do one of those type of attacks. And that guy just stunned me like that. So, yeah, that sucks. Anyway, um, I don't think I mentioned it. <sighs> Something tells me I did, but I'll say it again one more time. Because I don't... With the whole control thing, like the basic controls. There's one thing I don't think I mentioned. If I did, then sorry for repeating it, but I'll say it again anyway. Um, you see the little symbol in the bottom left by Zhang Fei's face icon. That will pretty much give. Well, if you press the select button, you could change your bodyguard's uh, command. Right now, that's a shield, so they'll be defending. If you press it again, you see the icon of a sword. That's pretty much their attack. You'll let, they'll pretty much attack everybody now. And then, if you press it again, you'll see the little glove. Or hand, whatever you want to call it. And uh, that will make them stop in their current position, if I'm not mistaken. I hardly use it. I usually have them defend any well, defend anyway. Because, well, I'm just used to it, and if you're trying to get a better weapon, you don't want your bodyguards to kill your, uh, you don't want them to kill the generals and officers. And I'm already at 50 KOs. There we go. And I completely missed the... Did I? Yes, I did. The Moose and Wine is right here, by the way. So that's one less thing to worry about. The Dim Sum's on the other side, which I'll actually go to later. But, uh... There's two little, uh... I'm not gonna say tricks. Well, you can say tricks in a way. Like... Just like in the first part when, uh... Zhang Liang... Uh... Caused that magic for the, uh... Flame Geysers, and then when he summoned the wind, so to speak. Well, here, there's more wind. You'll see it right now. Um, now? I'm surprised it hasn't shown up yet. Okay. What the hell? Okay, now there's the wind. There is a way to stop these winds. Keep advancing. Yeah, just keep on going. If you stop, then you're going to be going back. So the best route is to just keep on going and just keep on going basically. Um there is something that I learned pretty recently. I didn't know you could do this, but you might be thinking, "Oh, Okay, well, for anyone that has played Dynasty Warriors, well, for anyone that has played Dynasty Warriors 3, you'll be thinking these things here. Well, those are the, that's pretty much what's causing the win. And you might be thinking, okay, well, the only way to get past it is getting past it. And that's it. Well, you can actually destroy those things, and that's the point. I did not know that. I actually found out pretty recently when I was doing my uh, attempt of doing this game the first time and uh, I felt like such a dumbass the entire time playing because I have every time I play this game in the past I always went past it and I didn't destroy these things because I didn't know you could destroy these things but now you can well you could so that helps out a lot and I don't care if I'm getting hit right now because this will help tremendously Cheap trickery. 
Bao. Eliminate Zhang Bao. Shit. There we go. All right. So that's the first thing. The second thing will be on the other side. But uh, we will defeat Pei Yuan Shao before anything else. And like I said before, the archers aren't as bad as Dynasty Warriors 3. So you don't have to worry about it to an extent. They will miss a little bit more, which is good. Because I feel like every single time I played Dynasty Warriors 3, they kept on... It felt like they were always hitting me. Like, they never missed. So, let's just defeat them as fast as you can, and then move on. And he's down. Yeah, I did not want to waste that Musu attack, but okay. Um, Alright, so now I'm going to go on the other side. And I'm going to defeat... I'll skip Cheng Yuanji for now. Just because... Uh, eh, you know what? Screw it. Let's, let's defeat him. Make it easier. But I don't... I remember playing in the past this battle, and it pretty much stopped the other trick that I wanted to show. So I'm just gonna go. I'm not chancing it. I'll I'll defeat him later, even though he's really near dead. But I want to show this off because I'm trying to show off as much as I possibly can, just like in Dynasty Warriors 3. I mean, I'm. I know you'll be seeing this later on because this has the same two acts in both Wei, Wu, and Shu's story. The Yellow Term Rebellion and the Battle of Hulao Gate. But Did you think you could break through our I'd rather show off as much as I can now. Just for the fact that it's there. You know, I mean it seems kinda weird, but you know, that's just me. Anyway, here there's two ways to get into this base. Yeah, I'll, I'll consider it a base. Uh, defeat the guard captain here, or defeat Bo Zhang on the other side. And I decided to defeat the guard captain, and when you go inside... Behind every spell, there is always some gimmick. Focus on finding the source. Okay, so, unfortunately for the fact that that happened, you pretty much are surrounded by phantom troops. You can't kill them, you can't hit them. When you try, it's, you can do jack shit. So, and the worst part is, they can still attack you. So, what you want to do, and... You see this little... Yeah, I don't have to worry about it to an extent, but the only reason why it's like that, or he said that, is because I'm halfway dead. And, well, I don't have to worry about it to an extent. But anyway, you want to break those two... I don't even know what you want to call them, but you need to break both of them, and then the phantom troops would disappear. And there you go. Now that that's done with, we'll defeat Zhou Kong. And he's down. And just like in Dynasty Warriors 3, when your health is at red, you will trigger a true Musu attack. And... It helps 
when you're obviously about to die. And uh, I'm not that concerned. Just because I know what I'm doing here. I mean, when I went for Ju uh, Shuju's fifth weapon, I intentionally had my health at red. And... I'll tell you right now, I was really concerned because I knew that plan could have backfired at any moment, but it didn't. I've gotten it, and when it comes to the fourth or fifth weapons here, or you want to call it level 10, level 11 weapons, whatever you want to call it, I am concerned on me with getting those weapons because I didn't really get many fourth weapons when before doing this Let's Perfect, and I have gotten a few. But it, I didn't even know how to, uh, what was it? I, I didn't even know how to grind for items in this game. Because I actually found out how. And I'll actually show that off in a bonus video like I did in 3. But for now, you know, Musa mode. And we'll defeat Bo Zhang. And I th think, he is he here? Yes, he is. So, just like in the yellow tournament menace. Look out for Huang Guy when he throws those bombs because like I said, they friendly fire. Just because he's on your side doesn't mean those bombs will not hurt you. They do. And it's a terrible feeling getting killed by one of those things. Well he didn't really kill me. I was near dead. I was near dead and a couple of hits could have gotten me killed and that's exactly what happened. And that's never fun. And it's never fun seeing the commander being near dead because of one guy's bombs and, well, him getting killed for it. So, well, later on. So, you don't want that to happen. And obviously, I'm going to take out as many troops as I can. And I don't know if I said it before because I had a failed recording of it, but I'll say it here. Um, unfortunately, because in Dynasty Warriors 3, when you defeat a gate captain, they actually dropped a bronze shield, which is your plus one defensive up. And, uh, that actually helped out a lot when it came to the stack grinding. Unfortunately, here, I have to... When I maxed out everybody, I have to pretty much defeat everybody that has a defensive stat upgrade. And... It's going to be a little tricky, but, you know, I'll make do. I've maxed out characters in the past before. I've maxed out Guan Yu. I've maxed out Pong Tong and Lu Bu when I was younger. So, it's not going to bother me here. It's just more characters. <laughs> um, yeah, so. We'll go for Cheng Guanji and then defeat Zhang Bao. And... Just like the old Turban Menace, Zhang Bao could actually retreat in the stage. And for that to happen, you need to see the unit info. You see where Zhang Bao is. You see where that gate is. You have to secure that gate. And I think you have to defeat everybody else too in that matter. But you... I mean, I'm not entirely sure. I went straight for it and secured that gate. And a lot of other people were still alive, and he didn't retreat. So, I'm pretty sure you have to do... I'm pretty sure you have to defeat a certain amount of generals as well. So, I'm just going by how I'm doing it right now. If Zhang, if we secure the gate, then Zhang Bao will retreat. Will retreat because we're going to defeat Cheng Yuanji. Well, we have to defeat Cheng Yuanji. Because in order to open the fortress, well, the gate to the fortress, then... He, uh, I don't know why I dodged those troops, but, uh. Yeah, defeating Cheng Yuanji will open the gates to the fortress. There you go. So now we'll go and defeat Zhang Bao. 
Um, yeah, so in this predicament that you're at, if you have everybody defeated and the only person that's left is Zhang Bao, do not secure that gate if you don't want him being the old term rebellion. If you want him there, if you want him there, then let him retreat or obviously uh, skip the stage. Yeah, so either let him retreat or skip the old term fortress. But if you don't want him there, play the stage and make sure you kill him. He'll pretty much run away injured and he won't be part of the old term rebellion. That is if you play Musa mode, obviously, because if you play free mode, then, well, you only have one stage and that's it. And another tip, if you play free mode and you play the old term rebellion, they will automatically be there by default. So, just a little tip on that area, if you're trying to play free mode and you play the old term rebellion, I'll probably, uh, yeah, I'll probably say that again in the next part, but... That was weird. And I'll let you know right now, if you try to, well, if you defeat the gay captain and Zhang Bao tries to retreat, I'll let you know right now, he'll do everything in his fucking power to make, to retreat. And you don't want that. Like, if he's surrounded by enemies, well, enemies on his side anyway, if he's surrounded by enemies, then... And another thing, I don't know why every time I do a Musu attack, the lighting just changes. Maybe it's just the game. I hope it's I hope it's the game and not the Oh shit. I realized I'm about to kill the gate captain. But uh Yeah, anyway. Let's defeat Zhang Bao. Because if I secure that gate, and like I said, if he is surrounded by enemies or well, his enemies Well, he's dead anyway. It wasn't meant to be. And that's a win. But uh, like I was saying, if he's surrounded by enemies and he say, said uh, we need to abandon the fortress, then he'll do everything in his fucking power to get the fuck out of that stage. And like I said, if you want him to retreat, then let him retreat. But if you play Musa mode and you're playing the Yellow Term Rebellion, he will be there and he will cause the magic in that stage. Um, I, I personally believe it's the uh, uh, it's flame geysers and the uh, boulders. But if I'm not mistaken, I think Zhang Bao does the boulders and Zhang Liang does the geysers. But I could be wrong. Um, I'm still trying to remember it uh, because typically when I play uh. The Yellow Term Rebellion, they're never there because I always defeat them. I never make them retreat. Well, I never skip these stages. And I will probably be skipping these stages later on just to show that off. Plus, I need to show off a couple of other stages that hit a certain requirement. But, you know what? I'll talk about that later. For now, we got the Taurus Amulet Level 3. We completed the stage in 16 minutes and 32 seconds. And we have defeated every officer, well, general, because I don't think there are any officers in that map. But we defeated every single one of them. So, yeah. Got 208 KOs, which accumulates 216 points. 2856 total points. And his ranking will be probably at... Oh, yeah. 14. I was going to say 13, but no. And then the weapon experience is not going to be enough to hit the level 2. I'm not surprised because there wasn't that many officers to begin with or generals. You were the opponents, whatever it may be. So, with all that said, there we go. We'll save. And there you have it. You've been watching my gaming adventures. Peaching Dynasty Warriors 4, and uh, I was about to say 3 again, holy shit, that's, uh, I gotta get used to this, anyway, 
I'll see you in the next part where I will take on the final stage of the act, the Yellow Term Rebellion. So, peace out. <laughs>